Snappify complete tutorial for beginners how to use Snappify. Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use this app to create stunning visuals for our code. Nothing hard, these guys created cool interactive stuff editor to make it easier to share our ideas, share our code. And I'm going to show you all the features of how can we use Snappify as a complete beginner from scratch. As you can see, here we are on their snappify.com website. You can find a lot of information, some information about like uh, their uh, leaders uh, who trust in Snapify, who invested probably. Also, we can find some information, how can we create different animations. And as you can see, we can make it easier to understand what does this code do with the help of a Snapify. I'm going to show you all the features a little bit later. Also, we can uh, find that they provide us the opportunity to create like interactive posts for our social medias, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. Like we can easily use uh, like Snappify for our courses, for our video programmers, and so on. So there are a lot of information we can add, like interactive infographics, and so on find a lot of like stories, um, some other stuff and here we can find their editor and as you can see I've already opened this uh, folder, I'm going to show you it a little bit later. We can add multiple code windows, we can annotate with text and arrows to make it easier to navigate on our like posts or on our slides, we can like name it as we need. We can also add like our branding, it will be like on point, uh, add custom images, um, highlight code in a different ways according to maybe languages of programming we are using right up now. We can also manage your code snippets in one place so we can organize our structure of our projects and it will be easy as for us to interact with like them separately and it, it will be pretty cool. So we can find some more stuff here and also we can discover the prices as you can see we have a free plan, starter, professional and a team. We'll compare it a little bit later so let's take a look at uh, their editor. So here we are, if you want to start with Snappify you just simply need to open snappify.com and here click on get started and basically we'll come to our page with our editor. If you want to uh, make it easier, you can also create an account. I'm going to show it like in, in this like demo mode or something like this. As you can see in the right top corner, we can click on log in and we'll come to next page where we can log in with Twitter, GitHub. I think it's pretty useful as for programmers. We can also log in with Google, so with our Gmail. Login with Facebook and also we can create a separate account with email and password directly for Snappify and I think it's pretty cool, it provides a lot of opportunity to interact with their platform. So let's take a look at their um, like editor. As you can see in the top of the screen we have a couple of options, we can find a dashboard, theme, export, share, present, uh, also like upgrade option. If we'll click on uh, dashboard, we'll come to all of our projects page. As you can see, we can easily create different folders. We can find all the projects separately. So here uh, we have like our current project. I'm going to click. And as you can see, it was opened in this window. We can also find different templates. They provide us the opportunity to interact with different like um, styles as we need. So we can choose, for example, this style and create all of our works, all, all of our slides in the future with this style directly. I don't think it will be easy uh, like to combine them, but we can choose, for example, this palette, color palette, and then in the future use only this one stuff. We can also find a lot of uh, different tutorials how to create our presentation, how to leverage form elements, and I think it's pretty, pretty useful for you to watch them after this video. Maybe you'll find something new. We can also find the documentation if it's necessary. So as you can see, it's created in the Notion style. I think it's like the implementation of Notion app. We can find dashboard editor, embedding, API and so on. There are a lot of like um, interesting, interesting stuff related with Snappify here. I think it will, it will be pretty helpful as for you to find all of this stuff by yourself. 
So I suggest you to visit this page and uh, like directly to find some interesting, interesting stuff. And uh, if we'll come back to our editor, we can find in the left side, we can find our menu and in the right side, we can find uh, different uh, like um, settings for the elements inside of our slide, if you can uh, like name it like this. As you can see, we can add a code editor and if I'm going to click and find the information, you've reached the limit of the code editors we can add. So we can easily upgrade it to add some more like editors. Uh, in this case, we have this one here. We can click on plus to add like a new page or something like this. And also we can interact with our code. For example, I'm going to add this stuff here. For example, I would like to add Mm, this line with my code. So how can we interact with our window directly? As you can see, if you'll click on this uh, like window on our workspace, in the right side, we can easily find all the uh, all the parameters we can change. So there are a lot of options we can do, like add padding, uh, change box shadow, like add advanced style, we can change it to like to position, we can add it to the right side, for example, to top, and it will be changed. We can also rotate it if it's necessary. And we can also like try to add these coordinates. As you can see, we can change it like X. And if we're going to drag and drop it, all the stuff will be also automatically changed and replaced. Uh, we can add a lot of uh, parameters, for example, alignment, uh, like add different animations. And what is interesting is that we can change between different languages here. So if you want to add, for example, JavaScript code, you can use it like this. We can also like find a C++, for example, or maybe Python if it's necessary. All the languages uh, of program are provided here. And as you can see, they have like different uh, color palette inside of the editors. For example, on C++, it will be like in one style on Python, it will be in another style. Also, we can um, manage like code elements properties. We can change font size. Uh, we can change a window tab. For example, I'm going to disable it and we'll see only our code here. It will be helpful sometimes if you want to manage some stuff. We can change it to this. For example, we can uh, manage like code highlights and so on. We can also add different text. For example, I'm going to add these like um, code editor right up here and I can add text, for example, somewhere here. And we can explain something. For example, we can write like hello or some other stuff to increase uh, like attention to this slide directly. We can also manage all the stuff. We can change alignment, make it bold, italic, underlined. We can add link. We can change the font family, change font size, color and so on. Uh, the other option we can do is that we can add media. For example, we can add it from the their library directly. For example, I'm going to add the Android icon. As you can see, I need to log in. So if you will create an account, you can easily use all the features because they have like paid plan and free plan also. We can also add a profile info and we can also add a form elements. And also we can find element tree where we can interact with every single uh, like part of the slide. In order to create a new slide, we just simply need to click on add slide in the bottom of the screen. And also, as you can see, in order to create something, we just simply need to log in. Let's create an account with our Google. I'm going to create it with one of my uh, basically accounts. I'm going to use this one. And in a few seconds, our account will be automatically created. So now I can click on add a slide. And as you can see, now it was uh, created as for me. And we can do the same stuff. For example, I'm going to add the code editor here. I'm going to add it uh, on this position. And also I'm going to add some text. I won't add any uh, text or something like this. I just want to show you the opportunities uh, Snappify provides us to interact with. So what is interesting is that we can add a lot of different properties, as you can see on the right side. I suggest you to try to maybe change them and try to take a look how do they work. Because sometimes some styles are really important as for you, some features are really important as for your uh, maybe profile or maybe for your work. So now we can click on present and as you can see it looks like this. 
uh, nothing hard, just like a simple presentation. But as for me, it's really, really interesting to see a new product on the market. It was launched not that um, long time ago. So here we are, we can use it. In order to export, we can just simply click on export. And uh, if we'll hover, we can easily find like uh, options like uh, the quality clipboard. We can download all slides, download PDF or export video. As you can see, uh, we can also all only like use it with a starter plan, but nothing hard. We can export every single slide and then like uh, combine them into one PDF or something like this. But of course, if you want to use it like for 100%, I suggest you to use a starter or professional plan. Or if you have a team, you can easily use it like this here. If you'll try to compare, we can find the number of uh, the difference is in like an image upload limit, snap storage limit, folder storage limit, sync snaps and folders, and also some other, as you can see, uh, parameters. Uh, there are a lot of them, by the way. So I suggest you to see it by yourself what is really useful as for as for you. As for me, I think that professional plan is the most. It's the price is not that high, but as you can see, uh, there are a lot of possibilities we can use Snapify for. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye, guys.